guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna and I'm Empress of Horror. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different and instead of just doing a regular movie review, I would do a top movie list. So next month is June, which is Pride Month. So I thought I would do a little list of queer horror films to watch over Pride season. Horror is my favorite film genre, although it has one major flaw. It's severely lacking in diversity. There are so many horror films in the world with an entirely straight white cis cast. And personally, I think that needs to change. We need a bit more diversity and representation in horror movies. We are kind of starting to see a rise in queer representation in the horror film industry. Although I still think we have a really long way to go. Making this list was so hard. I was trying to look through horror movies with a queer cast and there are really not that many. That's not to say that none have ever been made, it's just that there are very few and far between. So starting off my list of top queer horror movies to check out this Pride season, we're starting with Spiral. Spiral is a Shudder original and it was released in 2019. It is starring Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, who you might know from Canada's Drag Race, Ari Cohen and Jennifer Laporte. This film follows a gay couple who move with their daughter to a small town. At first, the townspeople seem pleasant enough. However, as time goes on, the couple start to realise that their neighbours have quite sinister intentions. This film is a psychological thriller. It has paranormal elements and kind of some cult themes. So if you're into that sort of thing, I would definitely check it out. Um, it's not super scary, but it's very psychological. Um, it makes you feel kind of uneasy. It's quite unnerving and it's super entertaining. So I would definitely give this one a watch if you haven't seen it already. Next up on my list is The Perfection. This film is a Netflix original and it was released in 2018. It is starring Alison Williams and Logan Browning. And this film is crazy. Um, it's a psychological film, but it does have some gore elements and it's very disturbing. It has a lot of twists and turns and it really catches you off guard. Um, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, friends of mine thought it was a bit weird. It definitely is weird. Um, the acting is a little bit dodgy at some parts, but it's definitely worth watching. If you like films that are twisted and dramatic and catch you off guard, this one is definitely for you. Personally, I really, really enjoyed it. Up next on my list is a film I've already talked about in a review video of mine, and it is Jennifer's Body. At first, I wasn't sure whether or not to include Jennifer's Body in this video, but when I typed into Google queer horror movies, Jennifer's Body was the first one to come up. It was created by Diablo Cody and Karin Kusama, and it was released in 2009 and it is starring Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. This film is about a teenage girl who's sacrificed by a local rock band in an attempt to claim fame. However, when their sacrifice goes wrong, she ends up possessed by a demon and running around town eating boys. This is a fantastic teen scream slasher movie. If you like your horror films, bloody and cheesy and full of teen horror tropes, you will definitely love this one. It's one of my favorite horrors and I definitely think you should give it a watch if you haven't seen it. My next recommendation is What Keeps You Alive. This is a Canadian horror film and it was released in 2018. It was directed by Colin Minahan and it's starring Hannah Anderson and Charlotte Lindsay Marin. This follows a woman and her wife who go up to her wife's family cabin for their anniversary. However, things quickly turn disturbing when she realises that her wife is not the person she thought she was. This film is another psychological horror, but it is very, very good. I really, really love this movie. Um, it's dark, it's disturbing, it's really unnerving. And this film has such a tense game of cat and mouse between the two of them. The acting and the script are fantastic. It's paced really well and it has some really beautiful scenic shots. And it's available on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, I would definitely watch this one. Next up on my list is The Quiet Room. This one is actually a horror short and was released in 2018. It was directed by Sam Weinman and it's available to watch on Shudder. This film is starring Jamal Douglas, but it is also surprisingly featuring Katia and Alaska from Drag Race. Which was such a surprise, I was not expecting to see them there, I hadn't looked at the cast before I watched this. And Katia's out of drag and I was like, I, I think that's Katia, and yeah it's Katia. This film follows a young man who's committed to a psych ward after attempting suicide. After some fellow patients tell him a ghost story about a demon that haunts the quiet room, he begins to believe that the demon is actually coming after him. 
This one is fantastic. It's really well written, it's got a great story and it's really short and snappy so it cuts to the horror really quickly. It's only 28 minutes long so if you have a spare half hour and you want to watch something scary and entertaining I would definitely give this one a watch. And lastly number six on my list is The Babadook. The Babadook is an Australian horror. It was released in 2014 and it was directed by Jennifer Kent and it is starring Essie Davis and Noah Wiseman. The Babadook is the only horror film on this list that doesn't actually have any queer characters in it, apart from one which is Mr Babadook himself. The Babadook ended up being labelled a queer horror movie when it was released to Netflix and Netflix accidentally categorised it in with the LGBTQ plus section. When Jennifer Kent, the creator of The Babadook, found this out, she thought it was hilarious and wonderful and decided to label The Babadook a queer monster. And so it stayed listed in the LGBTQ plus section of Netflix. They actually released a Blu-ray version of the DVD which has the pride flag and The Babadook on the front as well, which is super cute. Personally, I love the idea of a queer monster in the horror world. This is another reason why I really love this film. I don't want to talk about it too much because I do want to do a review on it at some point in the future because I love this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, I definitely would go watch it because it's fantastic. So that's kind of all the queer movies that I had on my list of suggestions, um, which I know is really not a lot. Um, there are more out there, but I just couldn't get them. Um, I tried streaming, downloading, buying, and I honestly couldn't find them anywhere. But I also have some suggestions for queer horror TV shows. First up is The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor, both created by Mike Flanagan. Both of these series have queer characters and queer storylines in them and both of them are fantastic. Um, personally, I kind of prefer Hill House to Bly Manor, but they're both really, really great series and you should definitely watch them if you haven't seen them already. Mike Flanagan is one of my favourite directors. I love almost everything he does and these two series are so good. Another super queer TV series is American Horror Story by the one and only Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy is notorious for having queer characters and storylines in his TV series and American Horror Story is no exception. I think that every single season actually has some queer character or queerness in it. Um, however, I've made a little list of the seasons which have the most queer characters and more storylines than just characters. First one being Asylum, then Freak Show, then Hotel, and then Cult, and lastly Apocalypse, but I hate this season and I refuse to watch it, but it does have some queer storylines in there, so yeah. And so that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed my list and that I've given you some inspiration for films to watch over this Pride season. If you know of any queer horror movies that I haven't mentioned on this list, please feel free to let me know. I'm always looking for more queer representation in media and film, so let me know if you know of any. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again next Friday with another Franchise Friday video and I'll be talking about Saw 2. And I'll also have another upload on the Saturday as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye!